it's been like a couple of weeks actually maybe even a month since i picked up and started vlogging i haven't been vlogging lately but i have been shooting a lot of music videos and on top of that i've had a ton of weddings but for me wedding season is over wedding season ended last week for me which now allows me to pick back up where i left off i did make a few purchases it was time i needed to get a new gimbal actually i don't need to get a new gimbal because i do have the ronin m but i did go and get the ronin sc it's a lot lighter a lot more convenient to bring out on shoots uh especially because this weekend coming i'm going down to orlando so when i get down there i don't want to have to drag the ronin m with me so i did get the ronin sc it's like 10 times way lighter way more convenient to use i do have a, a photo shoot that i need to edit it's for a little girl she's on the cover of a magazine uh the girl's mother booked me so i went and did it now i just gotta edit those up which today is the most perfect day to do it suitcases they come as a pair the only color they had was like a tealish color i'm excited to see what it looks like down there new opportunities more doors opening i got a, a guy out here named eli he's he's flying down to book a music video with me so uh, it should be fun as well as two others that are already down there waiting for me so i'm excited i can't wait to get there you remember how i said i got the ronin sc well here it is right here I did do a little test on it last night. Um, I like it, I like it a lot. Uh, I'm sorry about the wind, if it's really windy. We just had like this big nor'easter come through. We didn't get any snow, but we got a lot of rain and wind, so that's what's going on right now. Plus, I'm over here by the water. Man, this thing is so much lighter than the original S that I had. Besides the Ronin SC, I wanna talk about the beginning of this video. Last night when I got out to shoot around, it was raining and I only grabbed one lens. That's not always the best thing to do, especially when I had a bag full of lenses. I should have just brought my whole bag, but I was in a rush. I wanted to get out and, you know, grab some shots out in the rain. And if you only have one lens, get out, use it. That's fine. Because when you get various video lengths, your video tends to be a lot more cinematic. It just looks better. Different focal lengths. It's just different angles you can give off. And, you know, that's that's pretty much what I was trying to get at. If you have other lenses like I own, uh, such as like the 50 millimeter from Sony, 35 millimeter, and I got Tamron lenses. You know, it's just, it's just better to have have better lenses is basically what I'm trying to say. So I just found like this abandoned school. There's an abandoned school right here behind me. You guys know how much I'm in the exploring abandoned buildings. Unfortunately, I don't have enough time to do that because I gotta get back, get packed, and uh, tomorrow morning I am heading out. The battery on this drone pretty much died on me, so I had to bring it down. To improve your videos, I'd highly suggest you get just a multiple choices of lenses. It's gonna step your production up. It's gonna overall help you in every aspect. If you wanna do real estate videos, if you wanna make music videos, if you wanna do short films, these lenses will definitely step your videos up so much further. When I first started doing videos, all I had was the kit lens and a couple months later, I got the 50 millimeter, which actually happens to be right here. So this, I would suggest if you don't have anything other than a kit lens, this should be your next option, which you can get it at Best Buy for $250, uh, depending on what camera you go with. After that, then you move on. I know there's a million lenses out there, you know, just choose wisely. I suggest renting them first. And after that, maybe you decide to go with it. Maybe not, who knows? But uh, other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and smash the like button. Leave some comments down below. Let me know, you know? It's always good to let me know. Let me know where I can improve. And uh, hopefully me and you can form this type of bond. You know what I mean? That's pretty much what 
I formed this channel for. Other than that, yeah, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in Orlando.